my presentation will be a very brief introduction of what AI is and how I, what are some of the applications you can see in shipping. Hoping it will set um, the floor um, and give some ideas for a discussion during the panel. Um, okay, this is a brief intro about Amitech. Now, some definitions. Uh, what is AI? AI is artificial intelligence, uh, is simulation of human intelligence uh, uh, using computers. Uh, it is done with various processing, uh, including learning by ac acquiring information and rules, how to use this information to, to create some knowledge. Reasoning, using rules to approximate and reach some conclusions and self-correction. It can be implemented using techniques such as machine learning, <coughs> um, natural uh, language processing, etc. The goal is uh, to create systems that uh, perform tasks um, like their, uh, that would normally require human intervention and human uh, behavior. Um, AI is very smart. This is an example from uh, ChatGPT, which is in the news recently. Um, it, oh, it belongs to Microsoft. Uh, um, it started from uh, uh, a company called OpenAI and was acquired by Microsoft for I don't know how much money, <laughs> a lot, I guess. Uh, so this is a discussion I had with it the um, day before yesterday. I asked him to write a Java uh, program to convert uh, Celsius degrees to Fahrenheit. It produced like that, it is correct if you put it into a Java uh, uh, compiler, it will, it will run. And it also it explains how it works. It says which libraries we, you need to use, etc. Um, it's not very intelligent. This is, actually, I stole this. Um, I saw it in the news. I mean, someone asked it. The, initial one, the first one was with four kids. I put it so, so I asked him. If Maria's mother had uh, three kids and the two are named Mark and John, what's the name of the third? They said it's not specified. So it is good, but it's not intelligent yet. So we don't have to fear yet. Uh, what is it, it is good for? Um, automation. Uh, it can do repetitive tasks in the industry and you know, finance that uh, uh, very efficiently. Um, we humans are not very good at the repetitive tasks. I mean, we get bored easily. It, 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 computers do not. So, it, plus they do it very fast. It can be used for predictive analytics. Uh, it can, they can, large amounts of data can be analyzed and uh, predict future events. Um, robotics. Um, if you look at the car factory, for example, now, I mean, we're, you were to, uh, talking, Apostoli, about how, how um, there are fears that uh, automation will reduce workers. I mean, if you go to a modern car factory, um, huge places with a few human operating uh, thousands of robots. So, yeah. Uh, national language processing, Google Translate is a good example. You can talk to it and, I mean, you, in a few years, you would not need to learn foreign language, I guess. Uh, computer vision, uh, it can, uh, uh, cameras that can analyze what they are seeing and uh, identify events like, I don't know, uh, someone jumping uh, over a fence or uh, a fire in the um, engine room can be identified and given an alarm without human intervention. Self driving cars, also security surveillance, as I said. Uh, machine learning, uh, machines that can. Uh, uh, um, learn things that were not uh, ever programmed into them by just uh, looking at huge stands of data and uh, information. And decision making, uh, they can uh, f actually find the, the needle in the haystack and help us make uh, correct decisions. Some applications in shipping, uh, fleet management, getting data from uh, tons of data sources, you all know that Information is abundant. I mean, you get information from AIS, GPS, weather, traffic, etc., and you can, uh, I mean, you can get into to get the results of what's the optimal routing, what's the, the optimal speed for a ship, etc. Um, predictive maintenance, getting the uh, like uh, uh, sensor data, and concluding that um, that uh, machine in the engine room is going to break soon, so you better do something about it. Autonomous ships. Um, Cargo optimization, um, 
um, um, uh, the company I work for uh, specializes in container ships. The, the latest ones are huge, more than 20,000 TUs, and um, for the, just for the stability. Uh, to to know how, how to to load them and how to uh, also to optimize uh, uh, loading and unloading how because because um, ports charge you by the number of movements so if if the container you want is the one at the bottom you have to maybe get out a, ten just to get to the one you need so this problem is huge and only computers can solve it for that I don't know if that falls into AI but still it's it's very helpful you couldn't do it without computers. Risk management, um, like um, based on uh, based on the input, on weather, traffic, uh, piracy areas, or uh, whatever else is happening in the news, maybe a fire at the port or an incident, it, ca it can uh, analyze data and, and uh, give you a risk rating and help you risk to a decision. Supply chain management, like op optimizing the data shipping process, uh, logistics, etc. We talked about autonomous ships, they are far off, uh, but IMO has already established a working group. Um, um, I think it was three, four years ago, M maybe more. It's called Correspondence Group on Autonomous Ships. There are already some guidelines and uh, there have also been some uh, trials. I think there is a ferry in Norway that goes, we have very small distance, but it's like the, the small trains you see in airports without drivers. and. Uh, uh, gets uh, uh, cars from uh, port A to port B. Uh, very important thing is situational awareness. Um, also, you also mentioned that this is not standardized, so many things are not standardized. So, uh, getting to uh, on board a new ship on the bridge, it's it's sort of a small nightmare. You have a lot of. Uh, input uh, from various uh, devices and screens and beepers, uh, etc. Uh, AI can help that. I mean, it can help you uh, get to the actual data you need. Uh, so it, it reduces um, uh, the effort need, that needs to be put to understand what's been happening. Uh, predictive modeling, uh, like um, what will happen, uh, is the storm coming my way, etc. Uh, decision support, again, based on real-time data, it can help you. Um, navigate safely, uh, alerts. Uh, I mentioned one example, of, um, we have dead man alarms. I mean, you may not need them if you have cameras in the, in, 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 uh, the risk areas, then uh, if someone trips and falls, then the camera will get it, the AI will get it and send an alert uh, to the bridge or whoever is responsible. Uh, that's the last one. I thought to, so they don't have a sense of humor, which is also a human trait. They do have a sense of humor. Sorry, uh, I don't know if you can read it. It says it's a discussion between someone and the chat, uh, chat uh, GPT. It says how much two is plus five? It says seven. No, my wife says eight. No, it's actually seven. No, my wife is always right. It's, in the end, it says I apologize. If your wife says it's eight, it's eight. So yeah, they are getting there. Um, thank you. Um, uh, thank you for, and up to the next. Thank you very much. Thank you.